What's up guys, it's David here from phonebuff.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download an app or purchase an app that the market or Google Play is, is already telling you you purchased. So I've loaded up an account on here in which I haven't purchased a set CPU app, but I had an APK on there or the app already installed on the phone and um, Google has registered it as being purchased. So when I try to go into here and hit install and accept and download, you can see I get this error saying it cannot be downloaded due to an error 403. So let's say you actually want to go ahead and buy the app again or for the first time if on your account. Um, there's no way to get past this on the phone itself, but you can do it on the computer and I'll show you how. All right, so on your computer, go ahead and open up your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome for this. Log in to Google Play, so go to play.google.com, log into your Gmail account, and then on the search bar, type in for the app that you're trying to download and buy. So mine is set CPU. I went ahead and opened up the page and what I'm gonna do is right click on installed and hit inspect element. So I right clicked, got this little pop-up menu, hit inspect element. And what you're looking here for is above the line that's highlighted, there's a code right here that says um, data is purchased and is set to true. What you wanna do is double click on here, double left click on true and type in false, hit enter and then go ahead and hit X, hit installed, choose in the device that you wanna go on, hit continue, and now you have the option to actually buy it. So I could complete my purchase, and there you go. Now I've bought it, and I'll be able to download it on my phone, and I'll go ahead and show you that I could in just a second. All right, so we're back on my phone, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Google Play Store. I'm gonna type in set CPU, and again, it says purchased, but this time when I go to hit install and hit accept and download, it'll actually work. And that's pretty much it. This is Dave from phonebluff.com. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to visit phonebluff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how to's. Thank you.